They say that football is a sport with no boundaries. And that mantra rings true with 31-year-old Tom Earls, an Englishman living in Bangkok who's become a die-hard supporter of Port FC. Having moved with his family to Thailand at the tender age of just 10, he gradually lost touch with the clubs he supported when he lived in the UK. Manchester United and Derby were replaced by the Port Lions. It was back in 2011 when a chance opportunity to go and watch Port in action came up. And from that moment, he was hooked to one of the oldest clubs in Thailand with that unique and famous identity between team and community. My first time watching Port was, I think, in 2011, and it was actually against today's opponents, Muang Tong. Uh, back then, the roles were kind of reversed, where Muang Tong were a much stronger team, Port were much weaker. Well, I love the atmosphere at Pat Stadium, especially. And it's not the same in all Thai stadiums. Many stadiums have running tracks, and the atmosphere isn't as good because the fans aren't as close to the pitch. But Pat Stadium is like an English-style football stadium where the fans are packed really close to the pitch. They're very intense, there's a great atmosphere, and that's what really drew me and, and many fans towards loving watching games at Pat Stadium, loving watching Port. I'd say the, the community here in Kongta, the community is so welcoming. The people are so kind of kind and helpful and fun to hang around with. Even when Port lose, 5 mil like we used to do quite often. <laughs> Our fans will be celebrating on the way home. They, they don't seem to be upset when we lose. Football's always fun in Kongto. And um, there's a great sense of community here, which I think is not unique, but uh, very important to Port. And Tom would soon find out that he wasn't alone when it came to foreigners in Bangkok following Port. He got together with his fellow expat Port fans to create the website, the Port FC Sandpit, which you can find at www.portfcsandpit.com. And he'd go on to spend many hours with his fellow supporters, writing articles and trying to bring the club closer to the expatriate community in Klong Toy. Yeah, I think uh, one thing that every fan has experienced when they come to Klong Toy is the generosity of the people. And the people may have a lot less than, than some other people who live in richer parts of Bangkok. But if you've been to watch a port game and you're wearing the shirt, maybe the motorcycle taxi rider gives you a free ride to the BTS. Maybe some guy you bump into in a local bar just buys you a free beer. And, and that's just, it's amazing that, that people who sometimes have, have so little are so generous with what they do have. I think that's, that's the kind of, one of the things that I'll always think of first when I think of Kong Toy. Oh, for, for me, it's almost everything. It's almost everything. The, the action that goes on on the pitch, sometimes it's exciting, sometimes it's boring, but that's really secondary to coming to the stadium on match days, meeting a lot of friends, meeting you know, people, new people, people who I've never met sometimes. But we all share one thing in common, and that's that we are part of this port supporting community. Yeah, for me, it's everything. I think it's just the experiences and the memories that I have here at Pat Stadium and traveling with Port fans, going to watch Port in other cities. It's just the memories and the experiences I've had watching Port. They'll always, I'll always be able to think about that and it'll put a smile on my face. It's thanks to passionate fans like Tom that the gospel of Thai football is beginning to spread around the world at a rapid rate. And who'd have thought that that chance opportunity to go and see the team he loves in action nearly a decade ago would lead to him being another man strapped in to the roller coaster ride that is Port FC.